Over 31% of Florida, some 18,500 square miles, is made up of wetlands. So when they decided to build a huge new university campus on an area of swamp, it was never going to be easy. This is Florida Polytechnic University's Innovation, Science, and Technology Building. So, how did they build it? Set on a 170-acre campus in the soft Florida marshland, Calatrava's design will see five vast lakes with curved walls created in a nod to its wetlands home. From the sixth, a gleaming white 162,000 square foot oval structure will rise. At its center, a ribbed and glazed auditorium roof, creating a vast atrium leading to 26 classrooms, labs, and studios. On its roof, two huge shades will move with the sun to protect the interior from the blistering heat. The perimeter will be ringed by a 39-foot high steel pergola, built to provide extra shelter from the intense Florida sun and high winds. To create it, the university turns to one of the globe's most visionary architects, Santiago Calatrava. The first task is to build a set of foundations strong enough for the huge structure. Usually when you build on soft soil, you hammer in piles till you hit solid bedrock. The bedrock is up to 80 feet below ground, so traditional piling would be eye-wateringly expensive. The engineers, though, have a solution called vibro replacement. Holes three feet wide are drilled deep into the fragile soil and then filled with stones or gravel. Next, this filler is vibrated and compacted, which makes the ground as strong as solid bedrock. With a solid structure for the building to sit on, the team starts work creating the enormous concrete slab on top. The plan is to cast two huge curving concrete beams which will link up to form the base. And on that, they'll then construct the building. The next challenge is overcoming Florida's weather. The afternoon summer temperatures are reaching 105 degrees, causing the metal to expand and changing the dimensions of the beams. Working through the night and early mornings, the beams are installed, ready for the next bit of Calatrava magic, glass physics. It's also something the team has never done before, to take an enormous flat sheet of glass and bend it into an exact curve, which fits the beams. Luckily, Calatrava has in his previous buildings. Calatrava's awesome glazed atrium is almost complete. Now he has one more demand of his engineering team. They have to stop the 22,000 square foot glass atrium from becoming a giant greenhouse. With so much glass, how can they shield the building from Florida's super intense sun? Calatrava's solution is beautifully elegant, but unsurprisingly, highly complex to build and install. 94 movable aluminum shades will be placed above the roof, able to extend outwards by more than 60 feet. Sensors will control hydraulic pistons to open and close them, optimizing the amount of shade they provide to the atrium inside. And while controlling the solar gain, it will still allow in the beautifully cool morning and evening sun. Right on schedule. 30 months after work started, Florida Poly's new flagship is ready to welcome students.